This is a reading of a poem by Taras Kasner. Taras is originally from the Ukraine, but he now lives in Canada, or has been living in Canada since 1976. He has been working to set his herd of bison free, but that costs money. The following poem refers to the massacre of Babi Yar, which was a terrible massacre that occurred during World War II in 1941 in the Babi Yar ravine, or in the midst of the Babi Yar ravine in the Ukraine, where it is reported that over 33,000 Jews were murdered in a single day. Babi Yar of Lloydminster may be treated as you treat others, a pagan psalm. It was quiet that day, sun was up in the sky, only the song of the birds was heard somewhere high. The gopher would whistle, and its warning calls made others scatter and hide in the holes. The flowers gently swayed in the breeze as they were pollinated by the bumblebees. Two carrier pigeons was cooing and bill. The herd of the pronghorns came up over the hill. Sage grouse on the run finds seeds that it seeks, then stops for a second and dips with its beak. But something is wrong, sense of fear in the air, when they look for answers back are given cold stares. No one recognizes the sounds they hear, and everyone wonders, why are we here? Fathers are helpless despite their might. No one knows what to do. We can't run and can't fight. Adrenaline rushing through swollen veins and sense of fear drives them insane. Line on mother's face is drawn by tears and everyone wonders, why are we here? And the youngster's head a bump and he thinks it's a horn. He's playing pretend being a young unicorn. Babies with lips that are as soft as silk were quenching their thirst with their mother's milk. A soldier came into the tent, rose his hand to his cap, and said to the leader, We have them round up. The officer replied, spitting shell from the seed, If everything is ready, then you can proceed. The order fire came out like a mad dog's bark, and the smoke from the guns made the sky go dark. The bullets like wasps cut through the air. There's no one to help them, and nobody cares. Like hatred rose, yet another bar. You are getting killed just for who you are. A mother leans forward to protect her son, but in a hail of bullets, they are about done. The grass and the ground are like a red rag on the floor. What is happening here never happened before. The wounded moan while gasping for breath and suffocate under the weight of the dead. The pupils resemble glass beads in the eyes and ravens smell blood, they start circling the skies. A bone protrudes just like a thorn from the hole in the head of the young unicorn. Their mouths are frozen as blood starts to dry, like they're asking a question, could you answer us why? With the smoke from the guns and the melted lead, you brought us here to put us to death. We lived among others, never asked for a hand, we did what we could, and were good for the land. By the end of that day, when the smoke went away, and silence came over the land, instead of bees on a gentle breeze, were flies on the blood-stained sand. No more gopher calls, they hide in the holes, scared by the smoke and lead, on top of the ground without a sound. More than a thousand bison lay dead. This has been a reading from the collection Dreams of Nostradamus by Taras Kasner. Feel free to check out his YouTube channel. Link. If you'd like me to read something, please uh, feel free to get in touch with me via YouTube. Thanks.